Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name is Jarek, and today we are back in Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. This is episode 35 of our playthrough. And in our previous episode, we got quite a bit done. Actually, we finished tuning the Codex Toxicus to the Blue Seeds, and we have discovered the location of the next Reaper, who is Malathian the Harvester. Uh, in fact, that mission actually appeared right in front of us as we were moving to the next planet. Uh, we did bypass it, however, uh, because we were already really late into the episode and I didn't want to start a boss level fight, you know, 30 minutes in. So we moved on to the next mission we were actually heading to and we took down a yellow seed spreader event and did just fine in that. Uh, we did spend some time talking with the rest of our crew too. We found out that Vakir is... Um, she doesn't like to work with other Inquisitors that much because it usually ends up uh, in not very good terms. She is one of the people who believes that the Emperor, well, the Golden Throne, I should say, isn't going to sustain the Emperor forever. And so she is looking for uh, other ways to bring him back so that, uh, you know, he's not lost forever. And so that kind of tends to create some friction with the other Inquisitors because, you know, the phrase heresy gets bandied about and accusations get made and then things just kind of go south from there and so she generally does work alone uh and that's kind of her her thing uh we also talked to brother ektar and we found out why he is in the situation he's in it turns out that he was actually in charge of a strike group and he was working with a couple of inquisitors some time ago and they were charged with putting down a rogue government and in order to do that, uh, they had made the decision that they were going to basically enlist the forces of chaos to do it. Uh, they were bringing in Zanchian forces, to be more specific, and they assured Brother Ektar they could control it and put it back in the box when they were done with it. And, well, it turned out that wasn't really the case at all. And so two dead Inquisitors and many, many, many dead civilians later, Brother Ektar had to go in, clean up the mess, and he was basically punished for not uh, standing up to him, I guess is the right way to put it. Uh, he should have basically just put a stop to it right away. He didn't, and so now his penance is that he will not be allowed to die in glorious battle, but he must spend his days in an advisory role and so on. And so that's kind of the story behind why Brother Ektar couldn't be the chapter leader after the previous commander was, uh, was killed by the demon. Uh, the Grandmaster meeting happened. Uh, that went okay-ish. Uh, he does feel that he taught us a lesson with the quest that he gave us and, you know, made us do what we were going to be doing anyway. He pushed our timetable up a little bit, maybe. But it was done, and it's fine. He thinks he's good now. He thinks we're good now. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, Armory's open again. Uh, he did ask us, however, to, to to provide some support to the rest of the chapter because our actions here in this sector have basically made things bad everywhere and a lot of the other uh, uh, segments and battle groups are having some issues and are very, very busy now because of the genie that we let out of the bottle. And so we agreed to turn over some of our grimoires to the chapter so that they could use them elsewhere. Vakir was uh, understandably upset about that although she was laboring under the delusion that those belong to her when they do not. But at any rate, she uh, went and pouted for a little while. I don't know if she still is pouting. I don't think so. I think she's kind of already passed it. It didn't last very long. But uh, anyway, that was kind of the price we ended up having to pay. So we also then discovered a secret facility that we would requisition that we could requisition some servitors from. And so we went there and they were basically withholding some of the servitors that we were supposed to get so we ended up having to bribe the guy in charge basically and he uh wanted us to turn over one of our master crafted weapons so ektar again re um, understandably not happy with the situation uh decided we could give them a storm bolter and so they took one of our two, one of our four master crafted storm bolters luckily it was one of the uh one of the really not very good ones uh, I don't remember exactly which one they took, but the two good ones that we did have that have uh, the armor bar armor break and, and whatnot were left for us. So we still have those. So we have our good storm bolters still. We did get the servitors that we needed, and we do now have the hull under repair. Uh, it was down to one strength from four total. 
And so that'll be fixed up here in about 20 days. And so that's kind of where we left off. And we are now over here on this edge of the board over here. And here is our next fight. And we are going after the boss today. So we're going to get the ship moving and we're going to have us a boss fight. I've been thinking a little bit about what I want to do coming into this one. I don't know exactly what we're up against. Oh, wrong way. Back the other way. Stop there. There we go. Thank you. Um, so I think we're still going to bring some grenades in. I, I definitely want to try and load up some more servo skulls. We've been going in light and I, I don't know. I, I just think it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring more skulls in with us than what we have been bringing. Ooh, we're going to get some decent stuff out of here. Five requisition, some green seeds, probably some blue seeds, maybe. Oh, it's green bloom reduction. Okay, bloom reduction. Uh, nine blue seeds, looks like. Not sure who we're up against because we don't have eyes on the system, but we're looking at a rank seven apothecary. Probably don't need that. We are looking at a tier three silencer. Um, We probably don't need that either. Tier 2 Demon Hammer. We got a Tier 3 Terminator Armor Suit. Excited to see that. Tier 2 Grenade. Okay. Looking good. Let's get in here. Oh, you know what else we need to do? Is we need to get um, some research going after we got the uh, Codex tuned. Um, and I th I've been thinking about this too. I think what we're going to do is try and go for the extra stratagem slot. Now that's going to be 8 purple seeds, which we do not have, but we're not there yet either. So let's spend the five green seeds to get this one. Uh, this one's going to give us the stratagem mass purification. All knights purify and heal two. Affected knights lose all their afflictions. Okay, so we're going to start researching that. That's going to be 27 days. Uh, so we'll see what happens after that. And let's take a look at our mission here. All right, so the team that we've got... Um, we just got Brother Rugen some new armor in, in our last one. So let's get him into his new armor. That's going to be this suit right here, which is uh, grenades do extra damage and gain two extra uh, range. And then we can also upgrade that to have an extra another plus one ammo on top of that. So that'll be nice. Extra damage, extra range, and we can get an extra grenade. So we're going to equip this. We're going to spend the five seeds to upgrade it. The green ones anyway. Um, we could do extra damage. I don't want to spend our red seeds now, though, because we only have nine. We need 11 to attune the uh, the Codex Toxicus. And I don't want to... Well, I mean, we could. Because we could go for the yellow one next. I don't know. That's a tough choice. Uh, do, we, do we get more grenade damage? It's plus one damage for four seeds. We'll see. Let's let's keep that on the back burner for a second. Um, otherwise, I think, oh, you know what? I wanted to do more. So what we're going to do is we're going to do servo skulls in his normal slot. He only gets one, but that's OK. And then we're going to swap out the crack grenades for regular grenades in his grenade slot. OK. Uh, we can break armor in other ways if we need to. We have our armor breaking bolter. Uh, he also has the warp charged kill zone. So we can break armor if we have to. Although I did just do the wrong thing here. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. Servo skull in this slot. Then we need to back out and then we need to go to the grenade slot and then we get the regular grenade. Looks good. Okay. And we have a level on our librarian here. Um, thinking about this one. Abilities. Uh, he's got this ability, Vortex of Doom, which is a fairly large uh, area of effect damage. And I think that's going to be useful. And this part of it, maybe not quite so much because this only affects mechanical targets. And so far, the only mechanical targets we have seen have been the Hellbrute and the Plague Carrier um, what is it? the plague carrier trans? I don't remember. It's hauler. That's what it is. Uh, the the or the the seed hauler, whatever it's called. Um, 
I don't think we need that. But what we can do is we can grab two more willpower, which is going to be great for him. That puts him at 13. And we can also up the damage to six on this Vortex of Doom. And I think that's going to be nice. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And then uh, he's all set. Uh, he's got his Rod of Hericus. He's got his good Bolter. So yeah, extra range on the Bolter and such. Uh, he's got the other good Bolter and he's all set. Uh, everybody else here looks pretty good, I think. Uh, oh, you know what I do want to do else is I want to upgrade him as well with his loadout. Let's go to Skulls with him as well. He gets two grenades, but uh, it's just we don't have a ton of healing and we're up against a boss. And so I think that's going to be probably best. So let's try that out. Uh, let's check our stratagems real quick. We've got the Gate of Infinity and we've got the Willpower. Uh, target Knight recovers all willpower. Uh, we don't have a Prognosticar, so we don't get Quicksilver here. All right. And I think everything's pretty good here. Um, the Apothecary, he's got Extractor Servo Skull and a Medicaid Skull. Hmm. Do I give up the Extractor? Oh, I can't. I, I can't double those up, so it doesn't matter. So we're okay there. Uh, he could... Uh, he doesn't need to. He could go with his... Um, sorry. He could go with his Biomancy Skull, but I don't think we need that. So I think we're all right. All right. Let's get on it. I had hoped to have completed my works here before I was discovered. No matter, you are only a handful. A mere one of my brothers would be enough to deal with you, Warpspawn. <laughs> Such taunts come easier fly from a craven. You should count yourself lucky, demon. If it were I facing you, your end here would not be swift. Oh, truly? Perhaps I should make a game of it then. Let us see how long you can stand to watch your brother's agony from the safety of that patch of yours. All right, guys, here we go. Subdue Malathian. What are we dealing with here? Malathian has Morbius Gift, which is uh, activate a blast with Area 7 to deal 4 damage. Malathian activates Reaper's Call and summons the Effigy of Death, Effigy of Infirmity, and Effigy, uh, Effigy of Despair. Does knock back, ignores cover. So Morbius Gift would be a good one to get rid of. Corrosive Darkness, target Knight at range 10 to deal 2 damage, scales with the number of demons gains afflictions with active effigies ignores cover so so far i'm not seeing a lot of reasons to be in cover uh reaper's call malathian creates two resurrection emblems if they're not destroyed they will summon demons in two turns okay so morbus gift corrosive darkness and reaper's call all could go uh he's immune to a lot looks like blinded crazed dominated panicked Plagued, knock back and banish. So he can't be blinded or crazed or dominant. He can bleed and he can be made uh, vulnerable. So that's good. Uh, Reefer's Bounty. Malathian has a 0% chance to restore a target point at the end of his turn. Scales with the number of demons. Okay. So target points, uh, I think, are when, like, when we get a critical hit and we have, you know, the option to take out his you know, weapon or his, his head or whatever. I think those are target points. So he's got a percentage chance uh, based on the number of demons on this on this on the board to restore those at the end of each turn. OK, and then he can summon effigies. Malathian will summon an effigy that will support him and impede the player. OK, nothing on auto abilities. Disarmament. He's got uh, strike targets in a line to deal six damage and does knock back on his sword. Doesn't say how long the line is. That'll be interesting to see, maybe. All right. 
Here we go then. Let's have a look and see what we're up against Your here. Orders. Let's do this. Let's get him up to here. Actually, he doesn't need to be in cover. Um. Get him to here, I guess. Taking position. Okay, and we're going to do a astral aim. Okay. Reaper's call. We can, yeah, we can disable Reaper's call. We can do plus five damage. We can inflict vulnerability. We'll get rid of Reaper's call. Okay. Okay. Update. A blasphemous icon has been detected. Oh, good. Its power has been psychically linked to one of our Astartes. Our training fortifies us against such psychic attacks. Recommend adjusting targeting priorities. Okay. So. That's interesting. So it's latched on to one of our guys. Okay, so he has Aura of Despair. Suffers one damage per will point used. Well, that's dandy. Okay, so we need to go clean that thing out then. Um, yes, we should be able to just teleport over there. That's not that far. Yeah. We'll just teleport everybody to here. Travel unseen path. Okay, a couple of demons here, too. Oh, good. He got his action point back. That's awesome. Okay, well, we need to get rid of this for sure. Uh, there are two demons here as well. Uh, you know what? Good time, maybe, for this. Oh, you know what? I wonder if everybody's got that. That looks like it. That's not good. Okay, everybody has that aura of despair, maybe. That would be nice to know. Um, set attached to one of our soldiers, not all of them. Okay, so he's taken a beating already because he's just teleported a lot. And, oof, okay. Um, this is not a psychic ability. You know what, let's just use the guns. Oh, you know what? Maybe, yes. Drop this on him. Okay, he's going to heal himself real quick. And he's purified. Good. Uh, did, now, did that get rid of that? No, it did not. So, does somebody have something extra? No. No, nope, I'll just have that one aura. Okay. Okay, this will kill him. This is not a psychic power. It's not spending any willpower, so... That'll kill him. That'll get a will point back. Let's finish this. Uh, let's just run in there and club it. Well done, Commander. The mere existence of such idols offends the Emperor. Burn them all. Okay, we'll kill this demon. We bring. Okay, do we have line of sight on him? We do. Just a little, you know, if we have the shot. There's the extra reload. Awesome. Okay, that's the turn. Entropy is inevitable. Commander, 
and then analyze the archives on Grandmaster Foreman's encounter with the demon. Okay. What have you learned? The beast appears to feed on the energy of its allies. It maintains an active psychic link with all of them. Enough chatter. I come and I bring death. Okay. Here. Yes. Let's get up on here. Let's get a kill zone going. He's got no armor. And let's shoot him. Oh, I should have astral aimed that. Empty. Um, I don't want to bunch up too much, but I want to get some shots on him at the same time. Um, you know what he can do if he's only going to have one action point anyway. I don't know if it matters. Let's go here. Okay, so if I, he's got 136 now. If I shoot him, he gets to 131. If I drop this on him, he goes probably to 130. Yeah, one extra damage here. We'll do that. Okay, um, we can do this. And we can do another... Uh, take out another aspect, maybe. What else we got? Uh, Corrosive Darkness. We can make him vulnerable for another turn. We can do plus five damage. Let's get rid of the Curls of Darkness. Okay. Okay, I got another effigy. Ooh, that looks like it's over there. Okay, we're going to have to go get that. Okay, that gave him armor. So we are definitely going to have to go get that. Um, how are we doing here? 11? Let's go to here. See how far we can teleport from here. Oh, this is our path carrying out our librarian. Can't get him from here. I guess we're just running this turn. Or else suffering. Are we taking damage from that? Oh. Hello. Okay, he just looks like he just restored, which means he held he healed something. The warp surge. Uh, enemies gain five armor for a turn. Fabulous. Okay, what do we got going now? Ooh, all knights suffer two damage per turn. That's rough. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Librarian, you're still at seven of 13. You could teleport, and then we could use our teleport stratagem to drop on top of this thing and kill it, which I think we need to do. If you teleport, you can teleport clear up to here. That'll put you in line of sight of this thing back here. I'm just going to teleport him. Oh, that is really back there. Okay, and then we're going to use Gate of Infinity to drop in back here. Can we go a little farther? Oh, we can get over here. Oh, perfect. This will work. Drop all the boys in right there. And let's tear this thing down. 
Okay, next, first up, Apothecary. Yeah. Chew, chew some of this armor. quite gonna get it is he we do one force strike now that won't do it he's got enough to oh he gets the plus five damage anyway okay there's an extra will point Uh, you have six of eight little points. Uh, you need a heal. Let's do that. Uh, you can come to here. Okay, that's uh, not what we want. Yeah, come to here. Uh, hmm. This will get rid of their armor, but not much else. How are you doing for little points? You've got six. That's not wasted on these guys. I do want to shoot, however. Okay, you are going to heal yourself as well. Okay, you're going to reload. Reloaded. And can you throw a grenade over the building by chance? You can. Let's blast them backward. So they don't get to us and do any damage. Okay. And then, can you kill him? Nope. But you can hurt him. The foe bleeds. This is the I don't know what just happened there. Librarian probably needs real huh? Yeah, he's at five. Wouldn't hurt for him to get a little bit more. Probably parry this one. Vengeance. Yep. Strike 
Firing now! I must sanctify my rounds. I have sanctified my rounds. Okay. Um, do we give the... Let's wait. Let's get... I'm here to serve. Yum. Go in here. I have sanctified my rounds. Okay. And then let's give him yes, the will commander. point. Okay. Justice. Done and done. It will be done. Oh, let's go. Okay, so those must be the uh, demon summoning things. Commander, I sense a surge in the wharf below. Banish it quickly. Mm, yeah, a little problem there, Ektar, is they're all the way on the other side of the map. Uh, okay, do we start beating up on him some more? I am here to serve. I think we do. It will be done. Okay, let's have another kill zone. Not quite close enough. Taking position. This should be close enough. Guess we can bring it to here. On my way. Less than ammunition depleted. Let's get closer. On the way. We hit him from here. Nope. Nice, Good auto reloaded. Need more rounds. Okay, I can get to here and hit him. Uh, you can hit him with this for full damage. Okay. And then shoot him with your bolter. I'll put him under 100. Okay, looks like we're gonna have more trouble here. Oh, just the end of the turn. Okay. There's two damage there. Okay, another warp surge. Enemy melee attacks afflict drained for the next three turns. Yay. Um, it's saying if I come here, I've got the line. Well, you know what? He only gets one anyway. Okay, we're gonna come up, we're gonna crit him and take out whatever he got back. Emperor, guide my hand. Uh you got Reaper's Call. Oh, good hit. 12 damage there. Okay, he's got another, uh... 
Another effigy back. Oof. And that gave him armor again. It did, but he's... Yeah, it did. Um, hmm. What's our options here? These two can try and go after that. At your service. There's gonna be... I suppose our librarian's already done. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Yes, Commander. This turn we're gonna keep beating on him. Or or maybe instead of that, maybe I give the librarian two more action points. Librarian's got enough to teleport us one more time. Because I think we probably have some uh, kind of, yeah. All knights die when their health is reduced to zero. Yikes. Yeah, we definitely need to go get that. Let's give this to him. So he can teleport us. Okay, you are going to teleport us up to here. I know that wasn't very far for those other two guys, but it puts them in range or pretty close to it. Okay, he's almost out of will points. All he can do is shoot, really. Shoot him. with the reloads. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, he's got 11 of 11 will points. We're going to spend one here. doesn't have enough. That'll do. How about a grenade? Take those two demons out of, well, one of them anyways, out of the... The enemy is wounded. Out of it for a round. Next turn, you're going to get up to here. Are you going? To, you're going to move up to here now. So next Taking turn, you can get shots on the uh, effigy. Okay, two more demons coming in over there. Nothing I can do about that. Let's... Entropy is inevitable. Ooh, okay.
for Titan. Okay. Affirmative. Puts him down to eight. Empty. Gonna shoot him. We have to reload first. The foe bleeds. Reload here. Okay. Not gonna have it this turn, are we? Well, we are, but okay. There we go. There's that. All right. Okay, no damage there. Okay, drained. That's awesome. More of them. Oh, plus five armor. Yeah. Okay. What is your will? Hot carry armor break. Cybolt on that. Destroy. Um. Heal him up a little bit. My wrath is restored, brother. Uh, he's got nothing left. Brugen. He's got. If he gets this kill, that'll be enough for two more. I am his will. Which is good. Two more kill zones. If we have Ammo to. Depleted. Actually, three more. Armed and ready. Golden Throne. Okay. That's everything over here. Oh, he's got the armor. <laughs> well, let's chew through it and get some damage on him. Okay, good. Auto reload. Good timing on that. I must re Face my fury. That's only doing three damage. Now that's six more. Yeah, six more. I take all Taste my fury. I must Okay. That's the three effigies. Does that mean we're done? Can we just focus on killing him now? Okay, their armor's gone, their extra armor's gone, I should say. Standing ready. Uh, what's the range on this? 
Need to move forward a couple steps yet. Well, he's going to want to get shots in anyway. Should be able to do it from here. Go to here. That's one. Here's two. Get both of these guys. No reason not to. No need to warp charge. Okay. Both of them are vulnerable. Can you get them both? gonna have to do that. Grenade it is. On the big guy or the little guy? Let's knock the little guy back. Or forward. Maybe we knock him forward. Nope, maybe not. Let's get damage on him. Deal with the little demon guy when he comes over to us. Uh oh, now what? Well, okay. I strike true. Oh, okay. That was apparently only two. All right. Well, let's run for the run for that thing. You have two will points, so there's not going to be any uh, not going to be any teleporting this time, unfortunately. What's our curse here? I wonder. Um, all knights' heal abilities are reduced to zero. So we can't heal while that thing's alive. It's good to know. into our oh great great another warp surge the mutations why did he just die I mean, no, and I can't bring him back because he's uh, got zero healing abilities right New now. Command. Uh, okay, we can punch him away. Give him the old sh cold shoulder here. Then we run. The enemy is wounded. Advancing. Unleash me. Jeez. Oh boy. Okay.
Might as well get a little damage on it. Demons coming. That's excellent. Done. Need to get rid of this guy. Okay, we point for him. Okay, another warp surge from mutations. Okay, are you sure? No real points. Oh, we're not going to kill this guy. We can probably get him with the librarian. Ammo depleted. What is your will? Let's get him with the librarian. Oh, 
That'll save Justice. our uh, poor little guy here some trouble. Um, hmm. This is going to cost us a lot. But it'll soften up two. Uh, we're not going to get another teleport in probably anyway. Because I'm not going to kill this guy in one round. Yeah, let's do this. He's got one action point left. You may as well just try and hit this guy. Missed him. Yep. No surprise. Uh, you've got two Psy Bolts left. Gonna have to use them both. Oh, I didn't hit the fireball. Doggone it. That was a mistake. Great. Two more demons coming in. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Get rid of that. Firing on target. The foe bleeds. I must rearm. What is your will? He's not got anything going here. Um... Ready to serve. He's got one shot. And get to here and take it. it will be done. That guy, if he shoots us again, we got a big problem. Moving out. Okay, you strike him down. That's a good point. Commander. things. Cost plus one for the next turn, all psychic abilities. Okay, 
medical skull on this gentleman right here. Yes, Commander. Advancing. New command. Oh, for heaven's sake. Restored, brother. I am here to serve. I'll cast a real point to do Aegis Shield right now. You have enough for a kill zone. Move up and get both of those guys. I think I can get them both. reload need to get him into the extra ammo okay you can just shoot from where you're at this one will for you mortals the bubbling little things I'll gnaw your eyes and harvest your souls yeah you think Activates Reaper's Call, summons the Effigy of Death, Effigy of Infirmary, Infirmity, and Effigy of Despair. Uh, I mean, we already killed those. Well, you don't say. The priest is right. Destroy these foul effigies before they can do more harm. Well, I mean, at least the librarian's still right there. Uh, he's got one will point.
Can't force strike. His bolter doesn't do any more damage than anything else. Luckily, we're fairly close to this one still, too. Um, okay, we're gonna have to get rid of... Oh, jeez, this is already gone this turn. Hmm. Well, start on it. That might have just gave us enough right there. Nope, not quite. Come on, give me the crit. Give me the crit. Nice. One down. Oh, there's going to be so many demons after this. Oh boy. Okay, first of all, we need to clean this mess up. Some of it anyway. Because we can't let them have that many more demons. Unleash me. Affirmative. Okay, warp surge this time. Enemies gain mutations. Empty. I have sanctified my realm. Okay, where are we at with him? One more point left. Firing on target. down. Good reload. Reload required. Let's get that shield up. Scanning ready. What is your will on the command?
All right, who needs a pop here? Probably not him. We won't hurt him enough. Guess we start on that. there. to Servo Skull himself because he's getting close to being down. My wrath is restored, brother. Now press. Oh, thank you. Have, thank you for having a skull. Gratitude. shielded up there actually would have been the better choice I depleted for the Emperor and you go bye bye See you ya. have been judged from here. Don't have eyes on it. Hit it with that. Uh, no with power. They okay, almost got this thing down. Okay. One more. Come on. Give me the crit. Nope. No good. That's right. Come here. Shoot that. Okay, that's all three of those things taken care of. And then we're going to drop this on this guy soften him up a bit but he's he's gone we're gonna drop it on him okay can we do 24 points of damage to this guy 20 yeah 24. 
here. He has not enough for a war zone. Or what, what you would call it. He can get 10. He can get 10, maybe. Praise the Emperor. Now nah, he's not going to get 10. He's going to be out of range. He's going to get like 6. Put your shield up. He's in range. Almost got him, guys. Almost got him. Good. Good reload. Good to go for next turn. What do we got? One shot. Yes. As you command. Empty. Okay. Just have to survive one turn here. Plus one more points. That's all right. We're done. This is over. Who gets the kill? Who gets the kill? That's a good question. I think maybe we give it to Brother Rugen. Yes, Commander. Can do the honors, please. Firing on target. I will not be banished. Thank you all. Bye bye now. The entity has been banished. A hard fought battle, Commander. Well done. Fume echoes detected. A prime seed is present below. Excellent. We should recover it and move on as quickly as we can. All right, guys, there's two down. Victory. All right, and we are back and got 14 requisition total. Uh, we did get one, uh, one critical wound there, but let's see what we got here for stuff. Psychotrope Grenade Tier 2. Range 10, Area 2, 4 damage. Affected targets will randomly attack their allies. That's pretty nice. Regular Grenade, basically. Yeah, slightly small area. All right, Terminator Tier 3 Armor. 2 Armor plus 6 Health. Uh, upgrade for extra passive. Equipment slot for 5. Plus two more armor for four yellows. Plus three more max for a pink. I mean, pretty nice, really. We'll take that. Hammer. Uh, five base damage. Nice. Critical damage is plus one. Does knockback. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that. And Afflict Immobilize, 25%. Yeah, I'm not excited about the knockback because then you have to go chasing them, which can get you into trouble. Um, I think we're going to pass on that one. The Psy... What is this? The Silencer. Uh, plus... All right, Disrupt. Activate should disrupt. Okay, that's fine. 
Damage five, so it's up damage. You can do the scatter shot thing. Uh, weapon deals plus two damage against demonic targets. Gains plus 20% crit against demonic targets. Those can be upgraded to another plus two and another plus 20% for seeds. I just don't use that many silencers is the problem. I don't know if I want to pay three requisition to pick that thing up. Um, and then we had a rank seven apothecary. I don't know if we need him. I kind of want the grenade. I think I'll take the grenade and the Terminator suit. And we'll leave the uh, leave the rest. All right, show me level ups. It's got a critical wound there. There's one, two, three. Nice. All right, so yeah, Brother Malchus is going to be down and out for a bit. That's all right. We can get Brother Boars in. All right, that's excellent. We'll do some uh, promotions next time. Let's see the cutscene here. Another strain is halted, and we now possess a second prime seed. I admit, this path has succeeded. Yet these rituals are clearly taking a toll on you. Update. I have performed a biodiagnostic on the Inquisitor. She remains within acceptable thresholds. For now. I am not some lab specimen. My exposure is a small price to defeat this enemy. Let us keep focused on the immediate threat. Agreed. Consensus. The Omnissiah rewards our aggression. I... I am ready. Ready for what? All right, guys. So there we have it. Uh, we are in okay shape. And I think that's going to do it for this episode because we're over by a bunch again. It's a boss fight, though. You got to expect those are going to take longer. Uh, but if you have enjoyed this episode, do me a big favor. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And we will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.